you are now about to witness the strength of video. That was a little tribute to every movie that has a rags to riches story and a way to inspire you to get this money. But before we get into this video, I just want to put out a quick disclaimer because you probably clicked on this video thinking 10k a month, ooh, that sounds nice. But the 10k a month is not going to come over that. You're going to need to put in a lot of hard work and you're probably going to need some sort of investment if you don't already own the camera, the computer, memory cards, batteries, etc, etc. However, if you do put in the work, you will reap the rewards and I'm here to show you how. Let's get into this. Okay, so first things first is music videos. Now, as many of you know, I'm a full time music video director and this is where I'll make a bulk of my monthly revenue and yearly income so with that of course i'm going to recommend this because this is where i've made my living for the past 10 years now and i would say let's start with the figures because this is probably why you clicked on this video and then i'll kind of break down briefly how you can make it happen so let's say for example you're charging 500 pounds or 500 dollars for a music video which is a very reasonable price to charge in today's day and age especially if you're offering a good service and good visuals so let's say you're charging 500 pounds 500 dollars and you're doing five sorry not five let's say 10 videos a month that's already five thousand pounds that you've hit for the month and half of your 10k a month goal and that's just off music videos i'm not even i've not touched on the other topics yet which we're going to get into of course but five thousand pounds hit just from doing 10 videos at 500 pounds now let's say you can up that to 20 videos a month that's now a thousand uh, ten thousand pounds that's the entire monthly revenue hit of 10k so of course you're probably looking at me thinking to yourself yeah 20 videos a month that sounds a bit unrealistic but when you're doing videos and when you're trying to get into music videos the key thing you're going to have to do is hit up artists and a lot of the time directors tend to go for the big artists because they're the artists that are getting the most numbers and being seen by the most people but what you're going to probably what's going to probably work best for you is if you hit up artists that aren't big just yet aren't at, at their biggest level and try and get them to work with you and a lot of the time like i said if you're offering a good service and good visuals they're probably going to say yes, as long as you've got something and you can prove to them that you can do the job. Now, this obviously involves you selling yourself a bit, but if you get in the habit of doing that and you can do that regularly, that's easy money for you to be able to make just by working with small artists that will hopefully then turn into bigger artists and lead you on to working with bigger artists as well. So yeah, don't focus on trying to work with the biggest artist that there is in your country or in your town in your city try and work on working with smaller artists charging them 
500 pounds, maybe even 400 pounds, and then doing more of those videos as opposed to trying to work with big artists, charging the maximum you can charge and doing less of those. It's all about constant turnover. That's the word that I was looking for, constant turnover. So, and once you've done that and you're getting regular work and your visuals are improving and you're getting more and more clients, you can then up your price. You can jump from 500 to 750 to 1,000 pounds. And let's say you're at 1,000 pounds now, that's only 10 videos for the month for you to hit 10,000 pounds. That's pretty doable, I would say. So think about it. And I would definitely say music videos is one of the easiest ways to make money in video production. Um, like I said, a lot of what I've just reeled off might sound unrealistic, but I'm promising you, once you get into it and you get the ball rolling, it's like a snowball effect. It's gonna take off and you just need to start small and grow. You don't wanna try and start at the top and then push further. It's, it's gonna be a lot harder that way. Start at the bottom and work your way up gradually and slow money is still money at the end of the day, but just keep it constant and you're gonna be able to do that with music videos. So the next method I'm going to break down is editing. Now, editing is another one of those revenue streams where you can make all, if not most of this 10K a month that I'm trying to get you to. So when it comes to editing, every single piece of content needs editing. It doesn't matter whether it's wedding videography, whether it's documentaries, filmmaking, music videos, YouTubers, content creators, it doesn't matter what it is it needs to be edited and a lot of the time some of these people that are creating this content unfortunately don't know how to edit or they've got so much of a workload that they need to pass it on to an editor and this is where your services as an editor comes in and again let's break down the numbers and let's say you're just getting started and you're charging 300 pounds for an edit and let's home it into a music videos because like i said there's a vast range of editing that you could be doing, but I'm going to home it in on music videos because one, I feel we need a few more editors within this space anyway. But let's say you're charging 300 pounds for a music video edit here, and it's taking you a day to do that edit, which typically if you're good at what you do and you're used to all the keyboard shortcuts and you're quick on the buttons, then you can typically do an edit in a day and you're doing 10 of those a month. Again, quick maths, that is 3,000 pounds. And that's very doable. That is very, very doable at 300 pounds because that isn't a huge amount of money to charge. And a lot of directors will probably be willing to pay that or their clients will probably be willing to pay that if you're giving them a great edit. Now, let's say you're getting a bit more experience and you're getting better with your edits. You can then easily charge 500, 700, 800, sometimes even a grand on edits. Editing is a key thing because if you think about it, a lot of these big guys, for example, are spending 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, sometimes up to 100,000 pounds on their videos. And for them to then not spend at least a thousand pounds on the edit it doesn't make sense so a lot of them and a lot of the bigger videos are able to charge a thousand pounds or editors are able to charge a thousand pounds plus just to edit a video because the edit is the most crucial part of the video and that just goes for music videos now let's take it away from music videos and let's say you're charging i don't know a content creator uh 200 pounds to edit a video again it's a bit of a small amount, but if you're doing enough of these and you're doing them regularly every single month, you can easily clear 5,000, 7,000, and then eventually 10,000 if you're just keeping that constant workload. And then if you couple this together with shooting videos and then some of the other methods that I'm about to talk about, that is 10K a month plus that you're maximizing just from or acquiring just from um, editing and yeah, merging it together with the other. So 
editing I would definitely say is vital like I said I feel like there's not enough editors in the UK right now for music videos and let's say you don't want to edit music videos like I said there is a vast amount of work when it comes to editing content across the board and you can easily fall into any one of these pockets and do regular work so the next method to make this 10k a month revenue stream is through gear rental now with gear rental it doesn't require any sort of creativity but it does require an investment like you need to be able to purchase the equipment and own the equipment in order for you to rent it out of course so when it comes to buying equipment i would obviously recommend buying stuff that are in high demands like for example when i first bought my red camera there weren't very many people with it but there are a lot of people wanting to shoot with it so i spent i think it was around 10k at the time and i was charging between two and three hundred pounds to rent it out for the day and that was for any sort of project whether it's a short film music videos documentary it was being used on a variety of things and obviously when you put your money into it you need to make that money back first so i had to make my 10k back in order to then start seeing profits and i'd say it probably took me about a year to make that money back and then after that everything else was profit now let's say i was able to rent that camera out for i don't know 10 times for the month at the lower end of 200 pounds that's two thousand pounds of me not really doing much just answering the calls when they came in for the camera and then sending it out to people that i trusted at the time i was only giving that camera out to people that i trusted because it was my baby and i was using it for my own projects as well so i would recommend to do the same and if you don't have a, a group of people of where you can send this equipment out to you've got sites like Fat Llama, for example, where you can put your equipment on and people from around your town, your city, or even people coming into where you live or near to where you live that are shooting can then see your equipment and hire it from you. So yeah, you've got a few options to be able to rent out your equipment if you don't have a circle of friends that may need your equipment. And it doesn't just have to be cameras, it could be lighting equipment, for example. So another key purchase I made was AX1 tubes and they're just the, the LED tubes that you've probably seen in a ton of music videos nowadays. So those I think I spent about £3,000 and then I was renting them out between £100 and £150. And again, I made my money back in probably the same year um, or in the first 12 months. I, don't, I can't remember when I bought them but within the first 12 months and then after that it was all profit and once you've got a good kind of collection of kit and they're all going out regularly you can probably earn a good I'd say 2 to maybe even 5k even beyond depending on how much money you invest into this and how serious you take in pushing it and marketing it you can easily make thousands of pounds a month just off gear rental and then that coupled together with everything else i spoke about you're very much easily hitting 10k a month and beyond so gear rental is definitely something i would recommend yeah so the last method i'm going to break down in order to make this 10k a month revenue stream is doing small content pieces and social media pieces for businesses now with this to start with it's not going to bring you huge amounts of money i would say that from the jump but it is something that can snowball and grow and be a guaranteed source of income every single month almost like a wage now the other methods that i've discussed previously they have their on and off months whereas this can yeah be a secure way of making that revenue every single month so let's get into it with creating content for businesses a lot of them nowadays know they need this content to help boost their sales boost their clients and just boost their revenue overall they know video marketing is one of the best ways to help do that and this is where you come in so if you can get into these businesses and 
kind of explain to them what you can offer and charge them a fixed monthly retainer. So let's say you're working with one, I don't know, restaurant, for example, and they want regular videos every single month and you're charging them 500 pounds a month for that content. Like I said, that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but it is something that you can then grow and grow and grow. But let's say you're charging them 500 pounds a month and you're doing videos for them every single month. Now, a lot of this content can be done in one or two days. It's very easy content because remember, it's for social media, it's for online. It doesn't need to be full length stuff. It's literally 20, 30 seconds, a minute max worth of content. And you can probably go into a lot of these businesses and smash out these videos within a day or two. And let's say you've got five of these clients that's, and you're charging them 500 pounds, that's 2,500 every single month, guaranteed. And you can either go and do it yourself, or if you've got a team of people, you can send them down to do this. And you might take a little less, but like I said, it's guaranteed money that you're getting. And then if you can snowball this and grow this and scale it to a point where you can do 10 clients, 15 clients, 20 clients, and they're all paying you 500 pounds a month, you can see how quickly the numbers can grow. And it's something where with business and doing videos for their profile, it doesn't need to be as creative as, let's say, a music video or editing a film or a documentary. It is literally just trying to get their business across to the masses so they can increase their profile and their revenue. So it doesn't have to be the most extravagant thing of course you're going to need some sort of creativity to make it work and make it look good because you don't want to give them rubbish but it's not as intensive as let's say a music video so it can be done in a day or two days and then you can outsource this work to other people that may either be better than you or might not even be as good as you but can still get the work done so this is something that i'm slowly starting to get into and it is something that like I said, will guarantee you money every single month if you go in from early and discuss some sort of contract and say, look, I'm gonna do this amount of work for you every single month. I'm gonna come in maybe every week or every other week or maybe even just once a month and create enough content to a point where they're happy with that they'll have to post throughout the weeks. And then you just do that every single month, every single month. And they've got um, regular videos, you've got a regular income, and yeah, just scale this. Do this with as many people as you possibly can, and then you are good small businesses. So if this video helped, then please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and commenting below. And hopefully it helped you understand that there is a lot of money to be made in the world of video production if you apply yourself correctly. It isn't something that's gonna die out anytime soon, I feel, just because content is growing and growing and every single day there are new ways of consuming this content and it needs to be produced by people like us. So yeah, if this video helped in any single way and if you enjoyed this style of video where I talk more about the money side of things, um, when it comes to filmmaking and video production, then let me know. I've got a few other ideas of how I can break down some money-making techniques and gear stuff that might make you some money, etc., etc. There's There's a few ideas basically that I can help with, but just let me know if it helped and I will produce those videos for you. And yeah, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Also, if you enjoyed the cinematography of this video, let me know because I put a lot of work into it. Thanks, bye.